today. We have an exciting day today. We're actually gonna go dog sledding. Oh, this one on Juno Take a picture here. What? What? Do you wanna go in there, Mom? Are you excited to go dead dogs? Ugh. Are you excited to go dog sledding? Of course. I'm excited. Are you scared? I know you're kind of scared of dogs, Mom. Well, can you take a picture sure? with me here in the boat? Mom. Well, you want to oh, ride the in the thing like that? I like to ride it. They said sure? it's $28. If you want to go. So right now we actually have quite a bit of time to kill. So we're just going to go walk around in the city. Um, I heard, or we heard, that there was actually a Filipino town or Filipino street. Right? Restaurant. I heard there was like a whole like street. No, you see the store, the Filipino restaurant, but she said you had just walk straight. And it's also known for having tons and tons and tons of salmon, which is my favorite fish. I like it cooked, I like it smoked, and I like it raw. So, definitely going to be trying the salmon here and see if it's different from US salmon. We're walking through the town right now, and one thing I really noticed is that all the stores are the same. All the jewelry stores are the same from Ketchikan. I did notice, however, that there are a lot more places to grab food here. In Ketchikan, it was kind of hard to find restaurants. Well, that wasn't hard, but there was so little of them. But here, there's like coffee shop, snack shop, sandwiches, and like restaurants all over the pier. So finding a place to eat here will be very easy. Guys, there's a Filipino restaurant in town and they have bubble tea. I have a big, big feeling that we're going to be eating here for lunch, so we'll see. They have Wi-Fi, so that's good. So this is the restaurant. Very nice, very tiny. I like it. Eating area, waiting area, and there's Wi-Fi. For five bucks plus tax? Mom, their boba's expensive. It's five bucks plus tax. They have reindeer sausage. They have a Carabao burger and elk burger. Oh my god, wait, hold on. This is like changing the game for Filipino food. So this is actually blowing up my mind. We're actually in Manila Square, which I'm like, I actually didn't know that there were Filipinos in Alaska. I mean, I'm sure there's Filipinos everywhere, but I didn't know there was a Filipino community in Alaska or in Juneau. To commemorate, there is a bust of Jose Rizal. This part in downtown Juneau is called Manila Square. So after reading the plaque, there was actually a Filipino community in the 1920s that worked in fish canneries and they worked in the Juneau gold mine during the gold rush. And the Filipino community started to form in 1929 and the Juneau Assembly um, named this area Manila Square to honor the Filipino efforts for their work. I think that's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. Right, Mom? <sighs> My mom does not like history lessons. My mom doesn't like history or educational lessons. <sighs> I'm alone. As long 
long as I'm on the front row. Lose my balance on the tight rope. You wanna leave the wall? Stop to use the bathroom. Call me dumb or call me crazy. I'm not tired, I'm just lazy. I can only give you maybe. That's all. from the dog sledding summer camp and it was honestly so fun and way better than I expected it to be. Um, I feel like my mom really enjoyed it too despite her fear of dogs um, so that was really good. So right now we're about to go ride the tramway that goes all the way up into the mountains um, and then after that we're probably gonna get some food. We're not leaving Juno till 7.30 so we have a lot of time to spend here and really take our time. So this was spontaneous. While we were going to buy the tram tickets, we ended up also buying um, the Mendenhall Glacier tour tickets. Yeah, they're a pretty good price, a lot cheaper um, than buying it on the actual cruise ship. So we saved quite a bit of money. Spontaneity. Yeah. It's nice if you have money. <laughs> <laughs> Mind <You're> your <funny>. <laughs> So we are at the Mendenhall Glacier right now and we're walking to, towards the visitor center. I've never seen a glacier before in my life. This is going to be a very special Raymond. moment. Oh my gosh guys, you have to see this view. Here, check it out. This really big thing over here, this is the glacier. And then there's a little baby little glacier over there. Oh, this is cool. So it starts like snow, and then when it melts, it forms a really dense piece of ice. And then that forms the glacier. So we walked a little bit further now, closer to the glacier, and uh, I'm a little scared. My mom left me. Just a little bit. <laughs> Look how close this bridge is to the water. I'm like, what? So right off the bat, it's so much colder here because we're closer to the glacier, I guess, but you could just tell in the air. It's a lot more crisp. We were there catching fire, now your hair burning bright in the flame. All this time could have sworn you were mine Now I hide in the rain <laughs> Okay, <laughs> you're in top of the mountain <laughs> We just climbed a rock to take a photo And my mom got down so fast And then I came down super slow Because I'm, I'm scared of slipping <laughs> Falling Anyways, we're heading back to the visitor center And then we're going to get back to town And grab something to eat Because how are you not hungry? Huh? How are you not hungry yet? I, I I'm starving. Uh, I, I so it's a little bit later now and you guys guessed it. No surprise, we're eating at Manila Bay Cafe. We're gonna try some Alaskan Filipino food, if that's even a thing. I also ordered boba, so this will be the first time I'll be having boba in Alaska. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully it's good. We spent a lot of money. It was like $27 for our meal. $5 plus tax. Boba. So my mom got bangos or fried milk fish and dinagoan, which is pork cooked in its blood. And then I got longanisa and some tomato and sweet onion on top of rice. And I got a mango boba. Let's see. Hopefully it's good. You're a teenager. 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 You're a teenager. You're still in. I'm, I'm 23. Teenager. <laughs> it's okay, you, you act like teenager. Mm. I'm so hungry guys, I am so ready to dig into this. Mm. Not bad, not bad, pretty solid. Did you take picture? No. It's just one good- Mom! See this lady? She's literally the queen of food flat lays. 
This bulb is kind of good too. Like I can tell that there's actually no tea in this, that it's like a mango flavoring. Yeah, it doesn't taste like tea at all. It's kind of like one of those slushes. It's okay. It's good. Like it's not, it's not disgusting. I wouldn't give it five stars, but I could drink it. I could drink it. The tapioca pearls aren't that bad either. It's a good consistency, not too chewy, not too hard or anything. So pretty good. The well, longanisa is pretty good. It's actually really hard to mess up longanisa anyways, because you just like what? How do you cook it? You don't. It's not fried. It's like braised, boiled, something like that. But it's really hard to mess it up. So we're just gonna finish eating our lunch, and then I'll see you guys later when we're about to go on the tram ride. Bye. I'm on the way down, catch the vibe and I feel okay I got nothing to do, but kick it with you, I'm on the way down. So we just got off the tram and are at Mount Roberts We're just walking around the nature center We just saw this huge eagle named Lady Baltimore and she lives here at the park after being rescued I have no idea how high up we are, but... Let's just say we're pretty high up. Down, catch the vibe and I feel okay. I got nothing to do but kick it with you. I'm on the way down, catch the vibe when I see your face. I got nothing to say, girl. I'm on my way down. So we're on our way back to the boat. We're clocking out. Of Juno. We just got back from shopping at the Alaska t-shirt company. It's so hip and it's so affordable and they have a lot of stuff and their designs were awesome. Like the designs were really nice, modern and like, you know, it just doesn't seem very souvenir-like and I really appreciated that the most. A lot of the stuff that a lot of other souvenir stores had were significantly cheaper. I bought these two beanies for like $18 at Mount Roberts and then at the t-shirt company I saw them for only $14 so I'm just like oh, what the heck I don't get it. So if you're ever in Alaska and looking for a really good place to get Alaskan souvenirs, t-shirts, sweaters, whatever um, head to the Alaska t-shirt company in Juneau. Hey friends what's up it's me again it is now like 12 midnight <laughs> and I'm just working on the vlog right now and I just wanted to close out this vlog and say thank you all so much for watching if you're enjoying this vlog give this video a thumbs up and if you're following my Alaska vlog series be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification button so you don't miss the next upload I just want to thank you all again so so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one bye